Hey guys, I'm Muhammad Hassan and this is the Electronics Engineer channel. It has been a while, isn't it? Okay. In this video, I'll be showing you a system that you can uh, control it through any device that can open an internet browser. Uh, it's about uh, controlling the outputs of these uh, microcontrollers. Each microcontroller will have uh, four outputs. It's uh, one master and eight slaves. The slaves are uh, uh, slaves through RS485 bus and connected to this master. Okay, this master is acting as a web server. It is connected through this module. It is an Ethernet module, ENC28J60. It is connected to a patch cord to this router. Okay, CAT6. Uh, this uh, master controller is having, as you see, uh, four LEDs that will be uh, controlled. The blinking one is just uh, to show us that it is uh, communicating with the slaves. And similarly, the slaves are having such LED that is always a blinking. So we will explain it uh, in a brief uh, way. Uh, the master controller is, uh, can connect up, uh, can add up to eight slaves. Uh, here we are uh, connecting a slave 2 and a slave 5. We can uh, uh, configure it uh, through hardware, uh, the number from uh, 1 to 8. Uh, each uh, slave is having also four outputs. Here uh, are four outputs. And here we are having a temperature sensor. So it is LM35. And similarly for the another slave okay uh, now we will see how we can control it we'll open uh, we'll uh, enter the IP address that is 192.168.14 that is assigned to the web server and it will show us the page that we can control uh, the outputs for each uh, node and for the controller. And uh, the second page will show us the data gathered from each node uh, and the outputs that are on. So it shows us the not used ones. The used one will show the data and the on outputs. Here, it, uh, till now, it's none. We go to the outputs control page. Okay, uh, if we want, let's say, control the outputs of the microcontroller uh, of the master one, uh, we will let's say uh, open one, two, and four, and submit. Here are. One, two, three is off, four is on. Okay, you go to this page and to show us the on outputs, it is one, two, four. Uh, if we go for the other nodes, let's say node two will put it all or on. And we will submit. Okay. Here are all the outputs on. Let's say for uh, here it is uh, one, two, three, four are on. If we go on now uh, for not five, let's say we will make two and the three on. And here we will submit. Here is having here we are having two and three are on, one and four are off. Uh, this page is refreshing uh, every second, so the data are updated every one second. Now uh, let's say we will uh, remove uh, the power from master uh, from the node five. 
okay it will show us the message that is misconnected if we make it back the data is uh, saved in the master controller and it uh, gives it back to the uh, node 5 okay Also, the display that is connected to the master controller show us the data every uh, at uh, the same time. Okay, this is for slave two on the slave five. If we as two is giving us all our own two and the three for S five, and so on. We are returning to the first page. Okay, if you feel uh, this uh, project inspiring, it uh, can be uh, done for home automation, for uh, uh, automation in factories, in fa certain facilities. It looks uh, near to building management system, but uh, for sure it is uh, in a simple, in much simple, simpler way. Uh, if you find this video uh, entertaining uh, beneficial please uh, give us a like subscribe and if you like to have any idea to be executed uh, or you need a certain help uh, we will be happy to communicate uh, to have a contact with you through the email in the description box uh, and we thank you for watching this video uh, thank you